Thanks for having us, Dev. Hi, <laughs> I am Barbara Bridgers. I am the mother of Stephanie Scheider, who is the CEO of uh, Girls on a Mission. And I am just so grateful and thankful that I'm able to come on this well, trip like with her. Give us traveling mercies right now in the name of Jesus. I camp your angels around our plane. Father God, give us traveling mercies from here to Los Angeles and from Los Angeles to San Jose, Father God, that we know that you are in control, Father God, and that we will have traveling mercies. And we ask these blessings in your name. I do pray. Amen. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> and one back, mom. Beautiful. <laughs> we are here in New York, ready to go on our trip to Costa Rica. Woo! Say hola. Hola. <laughs> Gracias. Hello. This is our humble abode. <laughs> they have overachieved the things that they had promised us. I am so like taken back by this experience. We have a loft. They got two double beds. And we have a nice master um, room that has a nice double bed for me and my mother because she's not kicking me out <laughs> on the couch. She already asked me if the couch pulls out. Well, what? Yeah, Why yeah, did the couch yeah, have to pull out, mother? We already started, right? Mother daughter bonnie time. I heard something different with my ears, uh -oh. and she knows something different with her mouth. And her <laughs> that's how we have to communicate. We have to learn how to communicate. That's okay. Because we all hear something different. Yes. This is, our, this is our lovely living room space. At the end of the night, we'll have movie night here. We'll do some popcorn and games and things of that sort. So just look at the space now. Because it's going to be like different people in this room. And we're going to have wonderful activities. What woman or young lady does not want a full view mirror to see right. their outfit before they step out? To the city and the countryside and go to the beach like this is <laughs> this is the life yes it's free space no right height <laughs> go to master bedroom first so i was not expecting this look at this empty <laughs> we have a nice bed here then we have this nice office space where i can start planning all of my activities and i don't have to worry about going somewhere and trying to find some space they already got it for me right here Right here. That is awesome, right? Walk-in closet. <laughs> yes, Studio 15 Productions. Get it. Yes, Kasai. Yes, Rain. You guys made way. Yes, Rain. Coming through. <laughs> this is their double bed. Say, mom and daughter got their own bed. They didn't even have to share. Look at them. They got a nice screen, big screen TV. <laughs> right, 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 right. Everybody is already talking about me being put out. How, how does that happen? How does Lady on a Mission get put out of her own <laughs> bedroom? 
I don't know. Costa Rica! My name is Tiana and I'm 14. And my name is Soraya and I'm 14 and we're in Costa Rica with Girls, Girls on a mission. mission. What I'm expecting from this trip is to have a relaxing time and just to get away from everything. From this trip, I'm expecting to build closer bonds with the girls here and to have a fun time and experience to remember. My name is Dion. My name is Jade. This is my daughter. And we are here with Girls on a Mission in Costa Rica. <laughs> woo woo! She looks excited, doesn't she? Yeah, she does. Yes. She so excited. Hi, I'm Kenya. I'm Kishana. And we're here in Costa Rica with Girls on a Mission, here to have a good time on this mother-daughter retreat. I'm Kimberly Gomez. I'm Kamora Nelson. And we are here in Costa Rica with Girls on a Mission. Girls on a Mission! our first mission, mission number one, where I tell the daughters and mothers that they're having this competition. The first competition, they have to find the um, missing pieces for their puzzle. They have four pieces of the specific spots that we're going to be using while we're in the hotel. So I'm really excited. There's actually one here, and then I scattered the rest of them around so that they could um, see that their puzzle piece is also around here, but they have to look for their specific color. Are you participating with your mother? Um, unfortunately I'm not. <laughs> no, it's not because you hit the pieces. I hit the pieces, so I, that would be my advantage. But my mom and I get to cheer everybody on. There you go. Mission, Ms. Shard has discussed specifically in points or areas that will be visited quite often during your stay at Country and Sleeps. To make sure you are listening, we have a little thing for you. This is the Unicorn Squad. Which Where's says? the Unicorn Squad? All right. Okay, I like that. So you're going to put the pieces together. Costa Rica for day three and I'm so excited this morning we have a wonderful dance exercise for all of our moms and daughters and I can't wait to see what they're going to do they're gonna have opportunities to work together as well as just get their bodies moving and just have a great time so let's see how it's gonna go okay ladies <laughs> get it <laughs> All right, now it's time for our workshops. We have education, we have fun, and now it's time to get down to the nitty gritty. So I can't wait to see exactly what's gonna happen next. Like Stay tuned. Like once it comes to certain things, she will come and she will tell me everything. And certain things I don't wanna hear. As a mother, mm -hmm. you don't wanna hear these things, but you know that you have to sit down and right. you can't just say, I don't wanna hear them. Mm -hmm. Because then she may never come to you and speak to you again. Oh. But, you know, like, the first two, like I have a second daughter, she's very reserved. But like I don't force her, but when she's ready, she will definitely come to me and she will talk to me and she will say, you know, mommy, I need your help or I told mm her. -hmm. But like when it comes to Jane and Leah, <laughs> it's Jane will more open up. Mm -hmm. But Jane has to know that she can trust you to do it. You know, but Leah is just like, it, it's hard because she doesn't really say anything. Everything is, oh, it's great. I had a great day. I'm like, every day is great. Yeah. Every, every, everything is excellent. <laughs> She's no bad days. Everything is good. But everybody's different. Sometimes you just don't need to know. You don't need to know. Right. <laughs> just keep, just keep. But this. we know anyway. Yeah. My mom always knows. I'm like, you know anyway. Where are you? Are you in this room? <laughs> you have a butt on my phone. Yeah. <laughs> 
but I do too. I understand pretty much what they're saying. Like my mom is like my best friend. She has my back through anything, mm -hmm. and so I feel like that's priceless because um, everybody doesn't have their moms, mm -hmm. and I realize that that's like a treasure that you know everybody doesn't have. And so I'm really grateful that I have that connection with my mom. That no matter what, she'll just drop everything and just like be there for me. So. Case in point. Yes. Yeah, case in point. She's here. <laughs> That's my mom. That's my mom. As old as I am. <laughs> right? I do need my mother. Yes, right? Yeah, she's my rock. Yeah. I think that's a good segue to like go into the next thing and just understand that um, our mothers are, you know, very important people and like to really take advantage of them now because, like I said, everybody does not have a mother. They wish they had a mother. And so really using our time while they're here on earth to like honor them or respect them and make sure that we develop the, you know, the best relationship that we can with them while they're here and um, yeah. love on them. Well, that's someplace like I definitely want to be with Shana mm -hmm. because I love my mom and I know my mom loves me, but we didn't have that, you know, that close relationship thing. I love you and, you know, it being shown. Because, I mean, she's from the Caribbean. She grew up without her mom, too. So, you know, it was very different. Mm -hmm. And you so, know that had an impact on how she raised you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, you know, that I definitely don't want to have that with Shauna. I mean, I want us to be closer and her to feel like she can come to me with anything. And, I mean, I am more reserved. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not as open with them and probably not as loving. Uh, well, I probably don't show it, but I do love and care about them. But why do no. you say you don't show it? Mm -hmm. Why do you say well, that? as far as the I love you and being affectionate and you know, I understand. I was like, do you feel like that's because of your relationship with your mom? Yeah, basically how I was raised. I know my mom cared, but it was just, you know, it wasn't shown. Yeah. It was a thing from the islands. Like, my mom did it too, because it was even, um, like, she told us recently, like, not recently, but she was like, you know, I didn't know how to hug. I said, like, really? So we didn't get that. Like, we know they love us, but yeah. as far as, like, that touchy feeling, that hungry yeah, kind of thing, that. we didn't. And then, like, for me, when I became a Christian, I mean, I had to, like, break that it still was very hard like to even try and hug my girls but then i had to start like telling myself hug them every day before they walk out you know because that yeah i'm still trying way. to deal with it even with my husband i'm married and he would tell me like you're not as affectionate mm -hmm. i am not as affectionate as i need to be like saying i love you and hugging and i'm not that I want to be, mm -hmm. but it's still hard to put it out there to show. So you're like, I love you, handshake. <laughs> <laughs> I love my husband. Like, start, get up for a second. Come here. Come here. Aww. It's not easy. Get up. <laughs> Go to mommy. And just tell yourself, like it's not easy, but just before she walked down that door, like you just let her know, like how much you love her, because that that touchy feeling, if they do need it, you know, they do need it. Okay. Everybody, you hear my Yeah, right. And just stay there. You don't have to let go. Just stay there.
Alaska. See those mountains in front of us? Yes. That's what we know as the Cordillera Volcanica Central, or the Central Volcanic Range, which is formed by four different volcanoes. Poas, Barba, Irazu, and Turrialba. All right, later on, I'll be testing you guys, all right? Uh-oh. I'll be asking. I got the footage, so I'm going to just play it back. What are you saying again, Sergio? Okay, Poas. Poas. Barba. Barba. Irazu. Irazu. And Turrialba. And Turrialba. Four volcanoes. What was the last one? What was the last one? What was the last one I said? Are you nervous? <laughs> a little. I'm scared. We're so excited. It's a holiday. Say hi, Gary. Say hi, Gary. Hey. What are you doing today? Well, you want to have a good time with us? Yeah. Let me see All right. Hopefully, you will like. I feel like a movie star now. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, when you when you got this signal, mm -hmm. that means mm -hmm. you're coming fast. So you have to slow down. Okay. And how do slow we do down that? This part, you have to slow down. Mm -hmm. But only to go with your with your palm. Mm -hmm. With your palm with your hand, okay? okay. When you got this signal, push down the cable but don't squeeze. Push down but don't squeeze. It was awesome. <laughs> More than I expected. Got a little short of breath and a little headache. So I figure I should stop. Yes. <laughs> it was very, very, very pleasant experience. It was very enjoyable, very adventurous. Um, until I got to the seventh one, <laughs> and um, I stopped short, and then my hands gave out. It was very interesting and scary. Yeah. Um, I would never do it again. It was scary, nerve-wracking, <laughs> fun, your adrenaline pumping. It was great. I was really scared though. You were your instructor to do it that way. I think you should feel like you're still get stuck. We are about to ride the horses. We are so excited. We are going to be taking this trail. Welcome to the stable. Uh, also, we have rules and recommendations to read right over here if you don't mind. How was your ride? Fantastic. What's the name of your horse? Pancho. Pancho. Yes. All right. Pancho. I got my horses in the bag.
camera. Wave to the camera. Say good morning. Good morning. Where y'all going? All right. City tour. <laughs> Say hola, bro. Hola. Me, me hermano. <laughs> What's your uh, Anthony? Anthony. Anthony. Well, can you can you say what you just said to the camera? Um, I love Miss Shiner. We're so excited to be in Costa Rica. Shanice is awesome. She's like the best person to bring on this trip. I couldn't have done anything yes. without Shanice. You both are lovely. doing a great job. I love her. <laughs> We're ready. And her, yes, her excitement. Yes, we love the joy. <laughs> we needed a leader. We needed someone that knew a lot of the, the areas that needed to be developed. And he was the one basically taking the lead. His name was Juan Mora Fernandez. And right now, pretty much, I'm doing the tours. Uh, also, I've been doing this for two years now. It's one of the things that I really enjoy the most in my life. And I love to show, you know, how much I love my city to the rest of the people. Also, um, I started learning recently to paint murals or graffitis. So I'm on my way, so I'm going to show you some graffitis, not mine, unfortunately. Not yet, not yet. But I really love, you know, this kind of artisty thing and stuff. But I really... You have an art I, teacher. Really? Yeah. Hello, teacher. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, lately I've been doing some paintings and stuff, and I'm really enjoying my life lately. We're having a really lovely weather today. Believe it or not, this place is having perfect acoustic. So I need a volunteer. Thank you very much, volunteer. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and we're gonna prove something really cool about this Let's place. Let's do now, it. You can stay here. You're gonna see the bird. All right, turn around and see the bird. And you're gonna say your name to the bird. Okay. To means what? All right. Nothing happens, right? Yeah. Now, can you please go there and let's go far away? So no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm yeah. kidding. You can tell the name to the bird. What is happening? Believe it or not, this place is having perfect acoustic. So every time you talk, you can hear yourself only in the middle. How does it work? Every time you know you speak, the sound will bounce into this area and will come up into the center. So it's like a reverb. So you can hear yourself. It sounds like you're trapped in a box. My friend, please go ahead and try it first. Right here first, just to see the difference or whatever. Yeah. Your name to the bird. No, no, just your name. Or say hi or something. Bird. 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 Turn around, face the bird. This one. Bird. Nothing happens. I go there. Hola. Hola. Hola, hola. Hola. 
So how is it? It's different. It, the aftertaste is bad. The aftertaste is bad? Chocolate. What you got? Cocoa. 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 So it got a thumbs down? It gets a thumbs down. We use the machine behind you. You see this machine? Huh? I will show you. Want to try? Have a look inside. You see? Okay, good job. Thank you very much. So here we have uh, the the cacao seeds broken, uh, and to take the shell off. A vacuum machine or the fan uh, because the shell is very light, uh, the weight is lighter than the seat. Uh, so, you see, with the wind, all the shell blow away. So, we use the fan or we can also use the vacuum machine. And uh, after that, we, we get the pieces of cacao without the shell. Now they are cacao nibs. And the cacao nibs, we grind them. And like this, you see, we get the paste. That's cacao paste with natural cocoa butter. No? It's natural fat. It seems like if it's wet, uh, if you want, you can try. You can smell, you can touch, you share, pass. Cacao is bitter. Yes. But it's very, very healthy. Uh, the raw cacao uh, has a lot of antioxidants. It has a lot of benefits. Uh, it has uh, a lot of magnesium, iron. It helps to decrease the bad cholesterol there you and go, to I'm... increase the good cholesterol. Decrease uh, so, bad cholesterol. So uh, we, we even recommend to eat the darkest chocolate, mm -hmm. which one has the highest level of cacao. So here we make the chocolate with the cacao beans and we don't process the cacao uh, with a, a very heat uh, temperature it's, it's, it's a low low temperature so we conserve the benefits because in the industry uh, they process and they warm too much yes yes, yes if you uh, press into a machine you extract the oil and you get cocoa butter Ah, so it's cocoa butter. Mm. Yes, let's see that. that's cocoa butter. Yeah, it's cocoa butter. It's good. That's right. Uh huh. Correct. Right. And here we make chocolate with the natural cocoa butter, uh, and no any substitute. <laughs> Those there, yes. All together. <laughs> Hey everybody, we are here at Jacko Beach. We are getting ready for our first morning exercise. We are excited about our yoga stretch and we are going to make sure that we are taking in the environment, what we feel, what we hear, 
and what uh, it sounds like so we can just really embrace being still and just enjoying the environment around us. We're so excited. I can't wait to see what it's going to look like. Feel your breath going in and out. Feel the sun beating on your back. So we have like little props that you guys can um, use to take a photo so Kasai and Rain will be stationed somewhere and you guys can do a photo, um, a mother-daughter photo shoot in the beach somewhere with those uh, photos. And then we're going to have time of course to relax during the beach. It is a, it's a spiritual symbol made by weaving a design out of yarn upon a wooden cross often in several colors and it's from the Eurocore which means uh, the power to see and understand things unknown. The power to see and under, uh, understand things unknown. Okay, this is an uh, example, and you can decorate the ends by uh, having some yarn hanging down, like a little tassel, and at the bottom. All right, and this is something I thought the girls would be uh, good to have and keep in their room so that they can know that they have the power to understand and see things that are unknown. God's eye is the center. Okay, this is how it's going to come out. Okay. Uh, Stephanie, you can show them. Hey you guys, we are just wrapping up at our day at the beach. It was an awesome time. We just started with our yoga, just relaxing and just taking the environment in. Secondly, we did an arts and crafts with Miss Barbara Bridges, my mother, an art teacher of 29 years, and it was a nice uh, God center, something of that sort. <laughs> but it was awesome, and then mother daughters were able to do it together. Then we had a nice opportunity to just have the daughters speak with their mothers and just share their insights about how much they appreciate them and how much they love them. get ready for our photo shoots with Mr. Kasai and Rain and they're gonna do an awesome job showing how they have their mothers are super women or superpowers and they are awesome in everything that they do and so they're gonna have a photo shoot at the end and then it's time to go back. It's a beautiful place, beautiful yes. place. I know you're having fun with the uh absolutely beautiful. I love your drive. Yeah, it's very nice. Mom Bridgers. Are you getting that lobster roll tonight? <laughs> I don't see it on the menu. Oh man. Off guard. Very <laughs> much. I wasn't ready. That's alright, you don't have to be ready. We're doing great. Doing great? Looking forward to the meal? Yes, I am. I am very much so. I wish I could uh, taste this pumpkin soup that you guys are raving about. Why are you not, why are you not tasting it? Yeah, uh, peanuts. Oh. Hola, hola. The food. It was delicious. What did you have? I had, I don't know, something with mushrooms. Well, 
I don't really know what I had either. I passed that, but it was good. It was different. It was unique. And Definitely was. I'm glad that we had this experience because it was very a beautiful atmosphere, don't you say? Yeah. Yes, very much so. And um, I think it was a unique experience for all the girls, even though they might not have enjoyed their meal. At least they got they to try like it. They didn't like their meals? Oh, man. What, what did you have? I have a rally. Ravi on, but it was like it was the cheese and then it was the spinach. So you'd rather chef bread? How was the food, moms? <laughs> oh oh man. Hey everyone, it's our last day of Costa Rica. We are so excited about all that we were able to do. It was a great, great experience from beginning to end. I'm so grateful that we were able to bring mothers and daughters together and seeing the healing um, and the relationships grow through each day. We definitely bonded. Um, we got uh, more loving, I think, and we was able to clarify some blank, shaded, gray areas. Um, I hope that we're able to carry this back to Brooklyn for the years to come and be able to leave our communication skills open. Yeah. Well, my experience was amazing. Um, never taking a trip like this. Um, just being able to zip line and horseback riding, going to the beach. It was absolutely fantastic. I enjoyed it. I got to build my bond with my mom. Um, it was a very good time. Um, I guess she got to understand things that I don't like and um, things that we need to work on. My experience was fun. I got to try new things and eat a different amount of food. So we had an awesome time, a mother-daughter retreat. It was a blessing to just be a part of this wonderful like first experience. I had a great time working with the moms and the daughters and seeing their relationship just blossom and also being able to experience this with my own mother and growing in our understanding of our relationship as well. We also had our own little retreat, so it was really a great time and I really am happy that I got to experience it with my mom. This has been an incredible trip just to be able to spend time with my one and only baby girl because I have four kids three boys, and this is my only girl, and I love her, so Mwah. This trip has been so amazing, and I'm glad that I was able to um, have this experience, and I'm glad that I was able to, to be here with everybody, and I had such a great time with my best friend especially. And even though we didn't travel with our moms, we still had a great experience with the other girls and their mothers, and everybody on the ship got closer. And it was <laughs> such a nice experience seeing the young ladies bonding with their mom and how they changed from the beginning to the end. And even like uh, Ms. Scheider said, <laughs> we even bonded. <laughs> so we worked out a, a few of our kinks <laughs> on this trip also. So it was such a beautiful, beautiful experience. And I'm so glad I was able to uh, be able to be a part of it. Me too. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> 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 she usually don't like me to kiss her. No, but. not on the lips. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> You're right, be specific. <laughs> Girls on a mission. Costa Rica. Costa Rica. Girls on a mission. Girls on a mission. Girls on a mission. Through the excursions, the horseback riding, the waterfall the bowling experience, the dance class, all of the things that we were able to do from beginning to end. I really am very grateful and appreciative of how it turned out. And I can't wait to do it again. See you in Jamaica next. <laughs> and hopefully you can be a part of it. So love and be love. Peace and hair grease. Lady on a mission. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> okay, go get on that right. plane.